of the world, this is Jackie G on Coffee Chat with Jax, and look who it is, we have my sister here. <laughs> Haven't seen her on a little Jackie G video in a real long time. It's been a real long time. I kind of want to talk to you guys about something that me and Alex both have struggled with in different ways. We have very similar struggles mm -hmm. when it comes to how we view ourselves and how we view other people. I've been doing a lot of, I want to say like soul searching, but learning about myself lately. And one of the main things that I've been learning is that I have a really hard time expressing emotions and I have a really hard time just being okay with feeling sad or feeling angry even sometimes because I kind of feel like I have to put on this everything's okay all the time and if it's not then that's a bad thing that I'm gonna be annoying. I always felt like I had to be okay. I felt like I can't show if I'm really emotional or upset about things because for some reason in my head emotion became seen as a weakness and feelings were a weakness and I don't really know where that came from and I didn't even really notice it and she actually brought it up to me one time. Um, <laughs> Do you want me to tell the story? Yeah, go ahead. Here's the thing about Jackie and I. We, our relationship is not what it maybe appears to be. Only recently and I can honestly say within the last like couple weeks I actually feel like is when we started to understand each other a little bit more and like get like really get to know each other because we were just kind of like leading our own lives and missing each other somewhere. It's not by any means perfect. We're like learning about each other right now. I've also seen her go from like here, and I just mean like where she was at in her life. I think you would agree like you're like low. I maybe wasn't the kind of person that you could like go to with that stuff because I had my own issues with like perfection and like not really having much, I guess, grace or patience or empathy for someone like Jackie who was maybe struggling with stuff. And then a year ago, I realized that I had a lot of stuff in my life that I like was ashamed of. Then it was hard to like wrestle with that and to be like, they're not two separate people. It was still me just like doing the best that I could and it's hard to have compassion for myself. So I've seen you kind of enter into that phase of like, mm -hmm. everything's changed. You're like a different human being. You've learned a lot. There's so much about like myself that I don't know. We're both getting curious about it. When I think you started to get curious about it, I felt like I could connect to you more. We don't have it all together at all, even though like we thought we did and we thought that our childhood was perfect. <laughs> oh <my gosh>. um, <laughs> yep. I've seen you go from here to like here and then you like thought you figured it out mm -hmm. and then now you're just like wait and that's where I'm like yes yes there's like human Jackie the question of like I don't know if I can express emotions because I don't know if I'm gonna be like annoying or I don't know if I should always be happy because I have so much to be thankful for and I can't be upset like I'm a brat I shouldn't do that no but I think that that's an important thing for everyone to know is that there is a time and a place to like not be okay and I think that it's not weak and this is something that I've been learning the last year because I've been following Brene Brown and I know that you know that I'm obsessed with Brene Brown yeah she's all about like vulnerability and how most people think that vulnerability is weakness you've been like you you've like read it and like kind of heard that stuff but I feel like you're just now maybe realizing this year was a huge year of growth in many different ways for me but I think a majority of it for some reason I lost a little bit of the vulnerability side of it because mm -hmm. I thought that Jackie. I don't know I just got really <laughs> I like that you're this is this genuine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to have it all together because I think I was lying to myself that I did just because I wanted to be wow this is so you and I'm not trying to be but I thought like I really have to be the happy boat of like reading something you yeah like. it's because I like said that what does have it all together mean for you maybe just like content and happy with life. No drama, no complaining. And so having it all together, I guess, looks just like, oh, you look really happy. Mm. It's good to be positive. It's also bad to like fake the positivity and like yeah. ignore the feelings because like feelings have to be felt. Once they are felt, you can get mad, you can get sad, you can yell, you can cry. Yes. Learning you can cry, it's fine. But like once you do that, that's how you actually deal with your issue. Because if you don't do that, you're like, packing the suitcase of all of these issues and one day you're gonna pop and that's gonna be really bad. Yeah, that's what I'm learning is that when something happens, deal with it, talk about it, cry, get mad. And then after that, it's fully done. Like Tori was saying the other day that she was having issues with this person and every single day this person would like make her mad again, but she doesn't have a grudge on this person because every time the person made her mad, she dealt with it in the moment. Yes. And then the next day it was like a new mad, but like she would keep dealing with it. It was like a new mad every day. Like I was mad. 
mad because yeah. it was a week ago. I think like when you're told so many times that your life is great, everything's perfect, at least you don't have this, at least you don't have that, you shouldn't complain because this and this and this, then it's easy to be like, oh, you're right, like I have nothing to complain about. And then that, that gives you shame for like when you are upset and you feel like, Ugh. I shouldn't be feeling this way, I shouldn't be feeling this way, but you are, and that matters. Where we started to connect was when we started to like share stories about our experiences growing up, and like we experienced them differently, but they affected us in like similar ways. I think it was good for us to like talk through that stuff, and she's just like, oh, maybe this is why I have such a hard time with emotion. I mean, this is why I have such a hard time with like crying. The moment she started self-reflecting and being like, why is it that I'm this way? Oh, then she started to have more like understanding and compassion for herself. Yeah, that's how you learn to like love yourself. Yes, because that's how you understand yourself. It's kind of like yourself is like like a past self. You mm -hmm. wouldn't talk down on like someone else's past if you like love that person. No. And so when you look at yourself in the past, you have to love yourself. So you're, why would you talk down on yourself? Yeah. And it like it allows you to have grace for why you are the way that you are. Mm -hmm. I am just you a year ago. I know. For my whole life, I was seen and I was told that I was this person and I was seen as this person and I I was the good girl. I didn't do anything wrong. Positive, bubbly, bubbly. That was the word. That was her reputation, so she had her reputation. Like, so I was like, okay, but that's it. And she was like holding herself accountable. Yes. To and, that. Be and because of that, what I knew was like good in the way that I guess I had grown up viewing people who did bad things. The way that I viewed people who did bad things made me feel like if I did them, I was a bad person. That is a difference between like shame and guilt. Shame is like I am bad. Guilt is I did something bad. And because I think growing up for me, I'm this is bad. Backwards. I knew it. <laughs> my sweater is backwards. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, well, if you hear it so bad so much and then you do that and then you find yourself like accidentally screwing up, I held a lot of shame for that kind of stuff. And because I never normalized it, it was always like such a huge deal and I was like, I'm going to hell. I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible person. And so in order to like make myself not seem like a terrible person, I overcompensated and I was like, I'm good, I'm good, I'm only good, I'm only good. Everything is amazing and I'm always on point and I'm always at a 10 and I'm never going to complain I'm gonna be the girl that's down for anything because I want to make everyone happy mm. all the time then I was just like secretly not happy at all once I figured that out and I like changed that I started to like get responses from people like Jackie uh, like other people in my family or my friends who were just like I can like talk to you now a majority of my adulthood I've had a really hard time crying I get really ashamed of it and I have to apologize for it and I have to like finish crying really fast or else I'm gonna annoy people I noticed this when I went to Alex's show. She was like giving this little speech in between songs and I just started crying. And it was so easy. And like I literally prayed asking, can you help me cry more? Because I feel like there's emotions that I should, like I should cry about if I need to. And I like feel like I need to, but I just can't. I always can cry to Alex and I don't know why. I even remember like these one times, like when we went to that movie thing, I went like to talk to her and oh, I had all these emotions yeah. built up that I wasn't able to express. But like, I remember I just kind of like, it was like an exhale and I just started crying and I did nothing happened at that moment. I don't know why, but I can just cry to her and I think it's because of what you're saying about yourself. And that's been hard for me because I'm very much a people pleaser. I'm learning to not take responsibility for other people's feelings. That's a big one for me. People who are okay with discomfort and who are okay with emotions and not being okay within themselves are much better at handling other people's stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we need to start normalizing any negative emotions mm -hmm. as like a part of being human. Showing emotion in general to me is vulnerable. It's even vulnerable to show joy because sometimes it's like people you can get might shut think, down. Yeah, exactly. And knowing that you are okay and that there are people that are still going to love you no matter how you're feeling. Once I'm like not fighting that and once I'm just like accepting that those are qualities that I have, that's how I can actually be myself. The time when I'm like, when I feel closer to you is when you call me and you're crying. You, you're crying. Or you text me and you're like, I'm really mad about this. I'm Living your emotions out 100% unashamed is the most brave thing you can do, I think. Jackie, thank you for having me on your own. Show. Thank you, and I didn't know you watched all my videos. That was of course I watched all your videos. Cool. Cheers. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye! Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to talk more and interact with me, like if you've been struggling with any of these issues or insecurities that I talked about in the video, I'm going to be having more conversations with you guys on my Patreon page that you can find a link to in the description box below. That's where we can converse, chat, hear your story, and just really talk about it and try and Try to figure this out, you guys, because we're in this together. Just go click the link below and we can talk more. Love you guys.